Oblitus is a 2D action-adventure platformer. It's kind of a mix of Metroidvania and Dark Souls. And yes, that means it's really freaking hard. And if you're like me, you probably had some difficulty with the troll. But don't fret, Jackers. I'm here to help you out. Now, the troll hits like a truck. It only takes about two or three hits to kill you. So going into that fight with full health is kind of paramount. There are two Harbinger Souls that are in the area around the troll, and they can heal you up to full. The first one is right at the beginning. Instead of going up on the platforms, keep going straight, kill the plant thing, and jump down the ladder. The second one is kind of near this body of water. Jump down the tunnel next to the block and keep going right. You'll eventually find it. I recommend holding on to at least one of these before you fight the troll. Now, the troll has three attacks that it can use on you. It'll throw up this pink water that'll get you trapped, leaving you open to a smackdown. When the troll throws the water in the air, watch how it falls. The water will break up in certain places, so this will give you a better chance of not getting trapped. The troll's second attack is a ground pound with its large, gnarly arms. It has a long reach, but hanging by the thorn wall will keep you safe. And finally, its third attack will make the thorn bushes rise up. Only the thorns in the foreground will hurt you, and there are two places where you'll be safe. Fortunately, you can easily read these attacks, so get ready to properly react depending on the attack. Now, in order to beat the troll, you gotta hurt the troll, and the only way to hurt the troll is by throwing a spear onto the weird obelisk stone thing on its back. Fortunately, when the troll gets hurt, it kinda gets disrupted, so you have more time to catch your breath. With some skill and a little bit of luck, you'll be a bona fide troll slayer. For more information on Oblitus and for all of your gaming needs, be sure to head over to shacknews.com.